All right, what is up, YouTube? I'm here. We are with Darren Shoemaker. Chart R U B O. Yes. I don't know how the fuck I remember that. All right. That's my channel. <laughs> All right, sir, what'd you play today? All right, I played Goki, but I played Goki Heroes. Uh, we just got back from Nationals. I want to play something a little more fun. So fun. I, wa I wanted to come up with the most broken thing Goki could do. And I tried doing like, a hand loop build with Aqua Dolphins and Gumblars, and it wasn't coming out as consistent as I like. So I'm like, well, let's just add a Dark Wall on top of an extra building. That, that seems okay. All right, let's dig into this. All right, so the Goki lineup is fairly straightforward. There's much better Goki players you can see. We played three Super X, two Twist Cobra, two Rescorpio. Uh, I would like to play more of these, but we're already at 42 cards with the hero package. There's some space issues. Oh, we're, we're not bad like DOCG players playing one of. <laughs> I don't want to play one of. Uh, Headbat. This one you do want to play uh, one of because you never draw it. You never yeah. want to draw it. But you have to play two because you search this one to get your combo started. And if they reincarnation you there and you only have one of these in your deck, then you just kind of lose. It's life. Uh, two of the level one guy, you don't never want to draw it. doesn't even get a real name, either. he's just level one guy. <laughs> and one bear hug. How do you like this guy? Um, you resolve all six of the Goki searches as you're doing the combo. So you want to have this one, but again, you never want to draw it. Uh, for extenders, you play one Marauding Captain and three Junk Forward. I think Junk Forward's probably the best one. Marauding Captain's weak to uh, Impermanence and Failers. This would be a Shade Brigadine in my normal build. This is the Shade Brigadine. But for this one, the heroes synergize the Marauding Captain pretty well, so I stuck with that. Then... Play a uh, dark engine already. So one Armageddon Knight, two Malicious, and a Shadow Mist. So all of these cards are very good with Summon Sorcerer's Legal now. You can make a six monster extra link with the Phoenix over in the corner so monsters can't be destroyed by battle just off of Armageddon Knight. Uh, in this build, if you hard draw the Shadow Mist anywhere during that combo, you can make the seven monster extra link with the Dark Law just off normally the Armageddon Knight. But you also never want to see more than one of these. And trying to go for a one card extra link versus a two card extra link, like, I don't think losing the consistency is worth playing two or three of this just to show off. That was, that was going to be my next question. Would you have considered playing another one of this over something like Marauding? Um, for sure, but you don't have to. This entire deck is two, is two card combos, so you can you can watch videos and see really fancy one card extra links, but an extra link. Two cards are about as good as one card in some Pretty cases. And you have to play the uh, Drawing this doesn't matter at all. Actually, if you draw this, you can make the normal extra link board, mm -hmm. but you don't have to use your firewall bounce to get the Ghibli back to do it. So that's not necessarily better because your combo is more fragile, but having a firewall bounce up after doing all the combo matters a lot. Then this is Yu-Gi-Oh, so we play these cards. How are you liking Droll now? Um, I don't really see any reason not to play Droll in, in the Goki mirror. It's insane. It turns it stops Trickstar's turn. Well, we were talking. I uh, mean, a, a few of my friends were having a discussion about Droll and Lockbird versus other hand traps right now. Um, having to have an increased hand... Do you feel you need to have more hand traps now that Goki's more relevant? Uh, not really. Drawl kind of shuts Goki down just as well as Ghost Ogre. And I do side Ghost Ogre, but I'm a lot more afraid of Trickstar than I am of the Mirror. Mm -hmm. Because it's so fragile, and two, this is the locals, and I'm not counting on my opponents understanding the combos and knowing the deck as well as I was. So I felt very comfortable in the Mirror. Okay. Uh, more extenders. I only played two in Infusion because I played a one-for-one. -one. These are kind of interchangeable, but I wanted ways to get Malicious into the graveyard. So one for one, Malicious, discarding Malicious to summon level one guy is... I think every deck profile I saw really in the w as well. WCQ was just saying that this was just better than the uh, Sky Striker engine, almost infinitely. Oh, this is absolutely better than the Sky Striker engine, because the Sky Striker, the thing with all the other like monster extenders is you draw five or six cards as you're doing your combo, mm -hmm. and if you draw in a Sky Striker cards as you do your combo, you're drawing blank cards. Mm -hmm. Here you're drawing cards that do things, cards you can summon off Firewall, 
cards that do more than just being discarded. Mm -hmm. People make the argument a lot to me that you can you play cards that you want to discard off the nightmares, but you can discard good cards just as easily as you can discard bad cards. So yeah. I'd rather have cards that do things. Uh, this was probably the worst card in the deck here. With Summon Sorceress now, you never activate rematch to make the extra link combo. So Summon Sorceress with Malicious. If you're just playing with Summon Sorceress and like just, just throwing into a normal Doki deck, I don't know if you can do that, but I don't see why I wouldn't do this card. So you would search for this early on so you can recover from hand traps, mm -hmm. but if you don't get hand traps, this just sits dead in your hand the whole turn. So I was considering cutting this to one because it's always searchable. You're rarely going to go into a grind game with a deck making an extra link board. Either they stop your combo when you're done, and then they OTK you, or you make the extra link board and they do nothing. So I consider cutting this to one. I'm hesitant to do it because, again, Trickstar Reincarnation does it. Yeah. But again, you never activate this as part of your combo, so you search this, the Reincarnation you there, you draw cards that you will use versus a card that you're not going to use. You become an extender at this point. Uh, it's protection from hand traps. If they ogre you, you can make another link too. That's about the only thing I'd do with this. Uh, three called by the grave because you're trying to resolve your combo. Then we're just playing a lot of broken one of Soul Charge, never resolved it. Uh, Monster Reborn, did it once to start a combo. I had to discard a card and then rewind the card. <laughs> Uh, Rhoda turns into anything in the deck. I honestly searched for Shadow Mist more than anything else with this because the only way you make the Dark Law is if you hard draw into the Shadow Mist because that's like the one card that's not at all searchable in the deck. Mm -hmm. So that's what Rhoda was, but it's an extender. It's really vulnerable to draw. You don't want to be drawled until after you've summoned your Soul Day, because then you search three cards and then they draw you, and you're fine. They draw you after this, you're not doing much. Uh, sword. I played Living Fossil. I think this one is probably the best of the quick spells. Um, there was one situation where I wish I had the Noble Knight to blow up a back row, but this can turn into an extender, especially if they over you. You can grab some of the back. Uh, we were talking about things to ban. Do you think uh, them just killing this hurts the deck enough? Um, not, it turns the deck into card filtering rather than card advantage, so you just card and draw a card. So the deck still completely functions. Yeah. You're always going to have extra cards. I don't think this would kill the deck. Uh, as far as banning this card, um, this card has never done anything healthy for the game. <laughs> it's only ever been used Thank in you, decks DDT. like Airblade Turbo and DDT, which I actually like this deck a lot because it reminds me of playing those decks. Yep. So I feel like this card, maybe banning it, not necessarily for this deck, but just because it's abusable and very unhealthy, then... We have to play a mass change because we're trying to summon Dark Law. You don't play a mass change too because all the darks in the deck are either Mali or Shadow Mr. Heroes. So there's no reason to discard a card. Uh, I guess you can make an argument for mass change two on an Armageddon Knight. If you're doing that, you're losing the game. All right, what else we got over here? So we have a 42 card main. Uh, the extra deck is insanely tight, and I'm going to say this extra deck is incorrect. This is just for playing the Dark Law combo today. I want to do that to have a good time. Uh, to a soul day, very important. If they stop the first one, you have to play the second one. You never actually summon the second one, and you just need it after you've cut it from the deck when you're testing. Uh, we play a really small nightmare package: mermaid, two goblin, Cerberus, and Phoenix. Um, you play two goblin, so you can make the combo either left to right or right to left. If you play two Phoenix or two Cerberus, you can only make it in one direction. So if you're going second and trying to do the combo, your opponent's going to have taken an extra monster zone. So you do the goblin to in either direction. Uh, Firewall, this is the card that should be banned. Because this kills the Trickstar loop, this kills this deck, this kills Spirals. Just get rid of this card. Uh, Summon Sorceress, this is also going to be banned. This card, I'd say, is arguably as good as Firewall. <laughs> Uh, what you do with this deck is you start the normal Gohi combo, you make a Soul Day however you can, summon your level 1 guy, summon your head bat, put him in the zones the Soul Day points to, turn one of them into the Summon Sorceress, one Gohi and a Soul Day into this, target the uh, other Gohi that is still pointing to, summon the Malicious from the deck, make a Goblin from there, malicious, summon a Malicious from your graveyard from the deck, turn this and this into Firewall, and then you've done the combo you have the firewall with the nightmare next to it without using rematch. And then after that, you can just do the normal Goki combo. 
and you'll never have space to activate your rematch. So that's where. Did, did you miss game. Unicorn today? Uh, no, not at all. Unicorns, you only make Unicorn when you're losing. So it's good for going second to break stuff, but we're always trying to go first. Okay. We won two die rolls today out of nine rounds. But, you know, we're, we're always going first. Uh, try gate as a part of the board. Uh, underclock. Make this as a part of your combo to trigger a firewall. This could really be any link two, but there's situations where you have either two Mallies or stuff with the same name on it. So having this is good, and then this, people don't think about the first effect of Trigate very often, but you can turn one of your opponent's monsters, attack to monsters to zero attack with Underclock, then Trigate, anything that's co to it, does double damage against monsters. So you can hit for like four or 5,000 damage on one attack. Oh. Uh, Link Karibo, Dark Law, Dragonus, because this helps you make uh, Invoker. So this is better than Raijin because you make Invoker. The argument for Raijin is that you can flip a Licorice face down, and Licorice damage does add up, but if they have double Licorice or double Reincarnation, you lose that game anyway. If they only have one Licorice, they're not going to burn you enough to kill you, and then you kill them with your extra Link board. So I feel like playing the Raijin to out a Licorice is not necessary. Now, the side deck is where we put a lot of the uh, extra deck cards that we're missing. So our extra deck's really tight, uh, so we cited Borload and the Unicorn. This is incorrect. So the Dark Law is only good if you're going first. This is good going first or second and is very necessary. One, if your opponent summons a Warlord against you, that's one of the very few outs to the extra link board. So you need to be able to make a Warlord to out that. And also, it kind of just idiot proofs the deck. So if you mess up and you put yourself in a really bad spot, almost always you can summon a Warlord and get yourself out of it. I uh, cited a Gumblar Dragon, uh, never cited this in, never wanted it. You have a 7 monster extra link with a Dark Law, what, what more do you want than that? You, you don't need to play that. And then we cited Cowboy for time. Uh, never brought it in, never went to time. I played very quickly, my opponent scooped very quickly, it was a very pleasant tournament. Uh, <laughs> the deck you're afraid of at most is Trick Stars, because Reincarnation can banish key cards out of your hand. And they almost always know your hand because you search everything. So we played two Twin Twisters and two Hey Trunade. Uh, I'm not sure if this should be three Hey Trunade or three Twin Twisters or two Twin Twisters, something like that. But five was a really good number. I saw them when I needed them. You can either force them to activate the scapegoat and then make your board attack with all other scapegoats, force them to reincarnation you. All your cards in your main deck are kind of redundant, so they reincarnation you, banish a hand, you get a new hand. You don't really care. If they hit your one of Gokis out of your hand, it sucks them a little bit. But then we cited three Ghost Ogre. This one is really important for the mirror because Valor and Impermanence negate the effects, but you still leave the link rating on the board so they can keep comboing. If you do this on an Assault Day, you kill two of their Link Ratings, and they have a lot much harder time making more monsters. And if you kill the Firewall with this, unless they have Reborn, they're kind of just done. Then, we said three red reboots. I uh, never brought this in, but one of the ways this deck can lose is if you go up against a really heavy back row deck, either Altergeist or Draco. So, they go first, they disrupt you, and you just lose. So, this helps you just play through that and win. I uh, never came up, never needed it. Any uh, final comments, sir? Uh, don't play this list somewhere serious. I think the Dark Law is very good. It kills a lot of pure Sky Striker and helps you deal with a lot of their uh, outs to your board. But you're not going to be going first consistently enough for this to be good. Side this side this one, don't side the board. It's more for locals. It's for locals. I want to have a good time. I had a good time. Yeah. Let's got the box. <laughs> so, had a good day. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.